guys just made it out to Lone Pine we're gonna be doing some camping and basically just hang out and have a good time today I'm out with Daniel seek out beauty on Instagram we're gonna go meet with the boys and everybody else that's coming down it's gonna be good times let's go hey Daniel we just got here bro dude gentlemen the importance of having recovery gear I forgot mine but thanks to Daniel he brought his max tracks so max tracks if you guys are watching this I think he needs some new ones all right just made it out everybody is all nice and set up we got Jimmy speaks we got life with Remy obviously my truck in the back seek out beauty Woo! Our missing is Daniel and Chris and Felix, which are on our way. So it's gonna be good times. So let's go. Unfortunately, we did get here a little late, and uh, by the time we got set up, the light was pretty much out. So let me show you guys where I'm gonna be sleeping tonight. All right, so here you have it, my ground tent. You might be wondering, George, what happened to your rooftop tent? Well, not today. Today we're gonna keep it old school. We're gonna bring back the memories of just going camping, raw style, in a ground tent. And right next to the ground tent, we do have a nice little fire. What's up guys, good morning. Man, it's beautiful out here. Everybody's still, some are still sleeping, some are really just getting up, but we had a blast yesterday. We're gonna be heading to destination number two today. Not sure where that's at, but I'm gonna bring you guys along and I hope you guys are enjoying this video so far. If you are, do me a favor, make sure you guys hit that like button, make sure you guys subscribe. Oh. <laughs> But we're gonna have fun. Let's go. reasons that I love coming to Lone Pine, Bishop, and Mammoth is you get to see the transition from the land. Literally like the whole element just changes from desert. Now it's all green. But uh, we are headed towards Mammoth now and uh, we're gonna be visiting one of the biggest lakes out there. It's called Grant Lake. And uh, we're gonna just hang out, hopefully do some fishing, maybe some swimming. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens, but let's go. All 
All right, guys. Maybe we can do a catch and cook tonight. No promises. And uh, I know the last catch and cook, I promised you guys that if I didn't catch anything, I wasn't gonna jump in. So I'm jumping in regardless. So for this setup, we're just gonna use a worm. This is by a uh, power bait, a small little bobber. That way it trolls around. And uh, let's hope we catch him today. All right, just a little bobber, man. I'd be so sick if we can catch a fish today. Grant Lake is known for having some of the biggest trouts out here in this area, so you never know. Four pounder, five pounder, we'll see. After a couple hours out by the lake, heading back to campsites, but man, hope you guys are enjoying this video. If you are, do me a favor, make sure you guys hit that like button and make sure you guys subscribe. Let's go. You already know what time it is. Soup time. Right, Daniel? Nah. Nah, eh? <laughs> this is pretty much just gonna be a little snack before we have dinner. And the great thing about camping with a lot of friends is that everybody brings a different type of meal. So you eat pretty much anything from steak, shrimp, pasta, fried rice, you name it. Alright guys, you know what time it is. It's dinner time. Daniel is gonna be making dinner for us. What are you gonna be making, man? Uh, some garlic butter shrimp. That's pretty bomb. Check it out. Almost done. What are you cooking for us, man? Eat a burrito, man. I think we eat better here than we eat at home, man. I agree. Uh, making uh, chicken porridge. It's a Cambodian and a Vietnamese dish. Um, so it's basically just chicken, rice, it's very like a soupy rice, almost like a fideo. I want to thank everybody that came down and showed up and just hung out 
Felix and Chris, Daniel, Jimmy, Venus, G, and the rest of the clan. Honestly, guys, if it wasn't for you guys, none of this would have been possible. And uh, for those of you guys that are watching now, I just want to encourage you guys just to get out and explore. You don't necessarily have to have a certain location that you're going to be going to. Just get out and explore. Explore the endless roads and you never know what you're gonna find so as always thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace